Warning, Say It is a rated M podcast and is not suitable for all ages. This series contains foul language and sensitive topics. Viewer discretion is advised. Whoa, you look like death. Yeah, I had a bad night. With what? I had a nightmare again. Jeez. Did you get any sleep? If I'm being completely honest, no, not really. I had so much insomnia and when I would be sleeping I just kept having the same nightmare over and over again. I'm sorry, Max. You should really get more sleep. Yeah, cause that's so simple. Plus, I have school. Can't really skip school. Max! Go into the nurse's office! Maya, I'm not sick. Really? Cause... You look like you could pass out at any given moment. She wasn't wrong. My nightmares are so bad I've developed somnophobia. And of course I have insomnia. I was very exhausted. A bit more than usual. Fine, I'll go. You better. So I went. As I'm lying there trying to go to sleep, another student had moved the curtain that was separating us. Max? Huh? Uh, are you sick? N no, just very sleep deprived. Oh, well I hope you feel better. And get some nice rest. Thanks. Why are you here? I fainted because of how gorgeous you are. Oh, what? You're beautiful, Maxine. Uh, th thank you? <clears throat> Anytime, cutie. Uh, I'm gonna uh, sleep now. Sleep well. Sleeping Beauty. What just happened? Did he just hit on me? Or was he just joking? <gasps> or did I just imagine all this? No, he is he's definitely there. Ugh, I just want some sleep. I hope you feel better for the rest of the day, Maxie. Uh, thanks. You too, Peyton. See you around, sunshine. After I left the nurse's office, I did feel a bit better. I just hope I didn't miss anything important in class. <sighs> After I grabbed the book I needed, I saw it run up against the wall to my left. He was just on his phone listening to music. Ah, uh, he looked at me. I turned my head away for a moment and then glanced back and he was still looking at me. Our eyes just locked at one another. I could feel my heart racing faster and faster. The butterflies in my stomach. Why do I have such big feelings for someone who barely acknowledges me? I looked away from him because all I couldn't think about was how sad he made me feel. Hey, Max. Hi again, Peyton. So listen, I wanted to ask you earlier, but it just didn't seem appropriate at the time. And I, uh... What do you think you're doing? Oh, hey, Ren. Answer the question, Peyton. Whoa, relax, bro. <laughs> I'm just trying to have some fun. Fun? What do you call fun, Peyton? Using girls? What are you even talking about? Look, why do you even care? It's not like you have a thing for Maxine anyway, remember? You dumped her like she was a piece of trash anyway. Shut up. 
Oh, I'm sorry, did I hit a nerve? Why don't you just run along while Max and I go have some real fun? And then it happened. A fight broke out. Ren had made the first punch. What the hell, Ren? <laughs> That's not some game. Guys, come on, let's just- Stay out of it, Maxine! Ooh, you really want to do this, Ren? Yeah, I do. A fight had broke loose. Ren swung again, hitting Peyton in the face. <sighs> Peyton had fallen to the floor from the blow, and Ren got on top of him and started punching more. Get off him, Ren! A crowd was forming, egging them on to fight. I tried to pull Ren off of Peyton. Seriously, Ren! Get off! Stay out of it, Max! He pushed my hands off of him. No! I grabbed him again. I had to stop them fighting. Let go of me! His arm hit me in the face, and his force knocked me to the ground. Ugh. Maya had rushed over once she heard all the shouting. She kneeled down to check my face. Maxine! Are you okay? Fine. Now with a bruise on the sides of my face, I knew I couldn't stop these two. Ren had looked back to see if I was okay, and in the result of that, Peyton swung hard and punched him. Woof! <sighs> That felt good. Stop! If you guys don't cut it out, I will hit both of you. Ugh. Why does the crazy chick always gotta ruin the fun? How about you run off? Before I ruin your ugly face more than it already is. <coughs> Jeez. <sighs> Maya. Save it! Gosh, boys are so stupid! The crowd was leaving along with Peyton. Ren got back on his feet and seemed worried about me from his facial expression. Are you sure you're okay? I don't know. Does it look bad? I mean... It's very bruised. Great. My dad is gonna kill me. Maxine, why on earth would you get in between two guys fighting? I just wanted them to stop. I, I thought I could help. We should get to class and maybe pick up some ice on the way. Okay. As we were leaving, Ren had stopped me. Maxine, I- Just... don't. I couldn't handle having a conversation with him right now. I was feeling overwhelmed and my anxiety was through the roof. So I just walked away. I was so angry with him. The Ren I knew? wouldn't have gone into fights, and certainly wouldn't have hurt me. Alright class, today we'll be presenting your projects that were assigned yesterday. We'll begin with Maya and Oliver. So, what I learned about Oliver. He's a bimbo and one big dork. But once you really get to know him, he's loving and caring. Especially to his little brother. I'm thankful for Oliver because he's shown me that there are still some good guys out there. He's also pretty smart, and I guess he has a good sense of humor. Maya can be a bit indescribable and very hard to read. She can be very stubborn and, well, can I say a bit harsh at times. But she's smart intelligent, kind, and just overall a really warm person to be around. She's also pretty funny, <laughs> and when you meet someone, so what's the word, uh, special like her, it's great to have someone who finally understands and cares about other people and puts them first before herself. She is someone I am grateful for, and I'm happy to say she is my friend, even if she has no sense of humor. <laughs> I'm only joking. smiling at one another. I could really see how deeply they had connected. 
They went back to their seats and I could tell that Maya was so nervous. Did I do okay? Yeah, I think you did great. As the other students presented their work, Jane, our friend, was sitting behind us and tapped on Maya's shoulder. Hey, Maya, can I talk to you after class? Fine. Miss Lore, is Mr. Meyer not here? You two are the last to present for the project. I know, uh... I haven't seen him, Mr. Kingston. Uh, well, if he doesn't show up by the end of the class, I'm afraid I'll have to give you both a zero. But Mr. Kingston, I'm still here to present, and I did the work. I'm sorry, Miss Lore. This is a partner project. My answer is still the same. <sighs> he never did show, and we were both graded with a zero. I was already having a hard time with my grades. Not because I don't try. I'm just... not great in some subjects. As everyone had left the classroom, the only ones left were Maya, Jane, and I. All right. What do you want to tell me? What's going on? Max, can you leave? No. She can stay. Uh... After all, she is your friend as well. Might as well tell us both. Maya... Tell her! I... If you don't, I will. But you need to own up to your mistakes. Uh... She's been bullying Alex. Uh, what? So why don't you explain, Jane? Come on, it's not that bad. Alex and I have history. So then why isn't it in the past? Why do you continue to torment her? It's just... She has to pay for what she's done to me. And that is? She took that guy that I liked in middle school. Seriously, Jane? That's your reason? For real? That's what your grudge is over? A guy? Gosh, Jane, what is the matter with you? You know how we feel about bullying. I can't even... look at you. Max. Just don't. Why are you doing this to me? You did this to yourself. Grace, is everything all right? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Do you need to use the room? Yes, but not for a little while. Are you all right, though? Yeah, I just had a fight with a few friends. That's all. Would you like to talk about it? I don't really think I should. Well, if you don't want to, that's completely all right. But just know... I am here to listen if you need someone to talk to. I am, after all, your teacher. It would be wrong of me to not help you when you need it. Thank you. It's just, my friends didn't agree with what I was doing to an old friend of mine. What did you do to this friend of yours? I guess I hurt her. And why is that? It's stupid, and I really regret it. Everyone does something stupid here and there. We are all human and learning in life. You can always learn from your mistakes. Yeah, I just feel awful. Do you like muffins? Yeah. Why? Come on, I'll buy you a muffin in the cafeteria. Food always helps. He was so kind and nurturing. How could I say no to him? 
He's so dreamy and ah, that smile he gives me. I have so many butterflies in my stomach. I know he's my teacher, but we aren't too far in age actually. Ah, what am I thinking right now? I can't have feelings for him. He'd never go out with me because I'm a student. I was so furious at Ren. I was running home to catch up to him. I finally saw him and as he was just about to go home, I stopped him. What is your problem? <laughs> what? You didn't show up to the stupid class and now our grade is a zero. So thank you. Thank you so much. You just had to ruin this for me too. You know, some of us actually are trying really hard to get into college. But clearly, all you care about is being selfish. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you just save it, princess? And go cry to Peyton. Peyton wasn't my partner. You were. Well, I sure bet he wished he was. Or any girl in the school for that matter. What are you trying to say? He's using you, Max. It's what he does. And who are you to judge? I bet you don't even know him at all. Why do you even care, anyways? You made it perfectly clear that you stopped caring about me a long time ago. I could feel my heart sinking, my eyes starting to water. But at this point, I was just so fed up with him. Okay, true. You aren't wrong there. But when he leaves you for someone else, don't come crying to me. Because I'll just tell you I told you so. Fuck you. I hate him. What was I thinking? Reopening this wound. He's such an ass. I cried all night until I fell asleep. And when I fell asleep, I had a terrible nightmare. Again. It was dark, nothing around me, no people, no sound, just darkness. Hello? Oh, Maxine, you have no idea how relieved I am to no longer be your friend. It was getting really tiring to pretend all the time. Jane? What are you talking about? You're nothing to me, Maxine. We shared a friend, Maya. But you and I, we just... didn't make sense. We weren't really friends, and I think we both knew that. I was more of the popular side. Meanwhile, you... well, not so much. That's not true. Labels never matter to us. To you, maybe, but come on, I'm a shining star. You're full of it. Am I? I think you're the one full of it. You're just pathetic. Says the one who bullies others. That's what I call pathetic. Please, you're the one fooling yourself thinking that you have a chance with Ren. You've been chasing him for ten years, maybe more? He obviously doesn't care about you, nor even wants to look at you. I mean, you just give off desperation. It's really sad. You're not real. Aww, what? Did I hurt your little heart? Aww, boo-hoo, Maxine said. Cat got your tongue. Just leave me alone. You can't get rid of Max. Never. I'm just telling you what you already think. Stop. <laughs> I'm so pathetic. I didn't know it then, 
but Ren had been awake late that night. He saw me from his window across the street. Thanks for watching the Say It Podcast. More episodes coming soon.